Hi, good afternoon. Jim Davis here from Fluke Networks. As much as we'd like to talk about complex subjects like Category 8, TCL, ELTCTL, more often we get questions about basic wire map problems. And today I'd like to show you how we can use the Fluke Network's DSX Cable Analyzer to identify the most common problems. I've got my Category 6A link here. Normally they're longer, but confined space. So I'm going to plug in the tester and we're going to push test to start. Now, yes, it's obvious that it's open here, but in the real world, the far end will be far away. So when this measure button comes on, we'll push that and the measure button will tell us the distance to where this cable's open. About one meter, about three feet. All right, now let's plug in our remote. The happy noise, that means we're ready to test. Let's push test on the far side where the camera's not looking. Now, we're going to run the test, but oh no, a bad wire map. There's a problem here. Let's take a look. Now, on this display, this is the main unit here, and this is the remote unit on the right-hand side. So what this is telling us is about one meter, about three feet away from the main unit, we've got some conductors that are open. If I reverse this, we're going to see that the open shows up on the near side. And there it is. On the near side, we have the open conductors. So let me get my safety glasses on here. Let's see if we can fix this cable. Conveniently, we have our punch down tool nearby. And we will very carefully wire these up. Disconnect it to get some torque off of it. Make sure our cutting edge is facing out. And one, and two. Now we'll plug back in. Listen for the happy noise. Great, we're ready to go. We'll push test to start. Oh no, there's still a wire map problem. But again, this is very common. Somebody wasn't paying attention and the pair is flipped. Yes, that's going to cause our communication to fail. Now, the tester doesn't know if it's wrong on this end or that end, at least people have told me that, but if I'm the one doing the testing on one end, and there's someone on the far end, I'm sure it's their end where they need to flip the pair, not my end. The fluke guy said it's that way. So on our punch down tool, we have this convenient hook just for this kind of problem. So let's try again. We'll pull these two connectors out, conductors out, and let's seat them in the right sequence this time. We'd like to maintain our twist and not separate the pairs too much, of course. So hopefully we can see that. Make sure you close the hook. You don't want to catch that in your nose. And we'll put the cutting edge out and click and click. Plug this all back in. Go back to our home screen. Push test to start. Let's see if we have our Category 6A performance. I'm looking for a dramatic passing value here. How about that? It passes. Somebody said these can't be so short, but there it is working. Anyways, Jim Davis from our top secret data center here in Everett, Washington. If you have more questions, if you like this video, please click on the link below. Thank you very much.